Hello everyone and welcome to Game Mode 4D once again. This is a little bit of a more interesting thing we're doing here at the moment, bit of a multitask. We are currently both live streaming and recording on the server at the same time. So this is going to be a episode crossed with a stream. This is hopefully what I'm going to be doing for basically the rest of the series. It's a little plan that I've been trying to kind of develop over the past few months and am finally able to execute that plan just with a few changes in circumstances with me. But yes, and it's night time again, of course it is. Now, it hasn't been that long since I last logged in, but even though, even still I should say, all sorts of things have happened. Like, oh my gosh. What is this? Why is there cactus growing everywhere? There's a little snow pile over there. There's lots of mobs. I honestly do not know what is going on here. There's just... Okay, that's my stuff. That's my stuff. This is new. That's my stuff. <laughs> and there's something down there as well. So yes, we are going to be basically just uh, tidying up things around here and having a look at all sorts that's going along, going along around here. Oh my goodness. What even is that? That's going to take a while to clean up. But yes, so hopefully things will work out here with uh, both the stream and the episode. We'll just have to kind of give it a shot and see how it goes. Oh, there's a person. There is a person here. It's the redstone potato. Hello, redstone potato. I think... Potato has a crazy amount of eggs for me. Oh my goodness, thank you, Potato. <laughs> and it's even a baby chicken. And we have a new Patreon trophy as well. So this is for June. Let's see. Thank you for June, supporters of this server. Oh. I heard a zombie. Oh, that's cool. It's like a little island. I love it. I'm not sure who made that, but it is so cool. And we'll be sure to put it with our other ones here somewhere. Here they are which will eventually be tidied up and put into a proper location. Okay, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, where do we start around here? Let's just get rid of the zombie for starters, because I can just tell that this is become problematic quickly. Oh my goodness, somebody... What is this? Has somebody built this for me, or is it like... Oh my gosh. What is this? It's some type of, like, death trap, I swear. What? I'm not sure if this is a prank, or this is somebody just building a horrible, very imposing, I should say, build. What on earth? I, I don't understand. I don't know if this is a prank. I, I just don't know. I just don't know. I think I might need to get someone to have a look at this and see what's happened. I don't know what this build here is. I don't know if someone's put this here, like... I... Uh, one way or another, we're gonna have to tear it down, I think. I just don't know. What do we have over here? There is a creeper for starters, and a skeleton. There's always mobs around here, and I hate the fact that every time I come on here to record, it is always nighttime. Goodbye, skeleton. And there is a creepy creeps. Now, I'd rather not blow up my very nice pathway. Oh, I hit the torch. Hiya! No, he has regen. There must be an enemy nearby. Oh, gosh. Hey, we might as well get that regen. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I love Enderman support class. Well, that creeper was given regeneration from an Enderman. How kind of it. Not 4th of July, but close enough from 59. Ooh, we got fireworks. Okay, I'm not gonna touch this. I'm gonna come back and get that at night time. Here we go, loot voucher. Throw me on the floor. Okay. Let's see, let's throw it down by the other ones here, I guess, might as well. Let's see what we get. I believe we're still getting PS3 staff cards. Yes, we are. I should probably change that out. I wouldn't mind like getting some of the other cards. I know you can get some pretty cool ones. Love these loot boxes. Ta da! Who have we got? Torbs, Raf, Raf, Raf. 
Dr. Awesome, another one of Wrath, Special Builder, Stuffy, Layerite, Dat, and Dragon. Fantastic. I think we've already got a lot of those. I really need to sort them out, and we'll put them all on a wall with item frames and all that good stuff as well. Oh, I should also mention, so last episode, I talked a lot about how I haven't died yet, and how I haven't really, like, had a chance to die and all that. I died last time after I finished recording, and it wasn't pretty. I fell from a very high place and went splat. What do we have here? Because it's going to take you a while to find my full gift, here's a small one to tide you over. Oh, the gifting man! The quality, quality gifting man. Oh, you are too kind. I'm even afraid to look in here because every time the gifting man gives me something, it is always dramatic and massive and just it's too good, too nice of them. Oh my goodness. I love Emerald Ore, that is beautiful. Um, <laughs> oh no, oh it's compressed. That's 64 diamonds right there. Compressed into a single one. I, I don't even have a compressor to decompress them. And an Ender Dragon head, oh my gosh. 64 compressed diamonds, that is too good. Oh, fantastic. Thank you, the gifting man, you are just, you're far too generous, far too generous. Okay, so, well, should we dive straight into things and figure out kind of what is going on here because it is just an absolute mess at the moment. I need somewhere to, like, get rid of all this stuff. Let's just throw it all in here, to be honest. And I think first action of anything really is to just tear down this thing here. Oh my gosh. Why? Why would you do this? Where do we even begin with this thing? Let's try to get to the top of the tower and... And, uh, figure out where to begin. I still, I actually have literally no idea, ouch, who has made this, but, uh... Oh. Oh. I wonder who it could have been. Surely not Toffee Max with Toffee Max's stones. <laughs> oh. oh, Toffee Max, why did you do this to me? Okay, right. Is this going up? It looks like, oh, the dirty corner. Ah, oh, because it's dirty. Okay, so hopefully that should solve all our audio issues with both mixer and, uh, sorry. Holy moly. Okay. <laughs> I think we just got a gift from Silver, but, but I don't know where Silver is. I can't see Silver. Where are you? You're hiding from me. The one thing I'm just worried about with using TNT is I don't want to, like, lose any, like, secret stuff that might be hidden in here. If we just dig out this tower first, that way we know that we're not going to leave any, like, stray blocks behind. Okay, this is a lot taller than I realized. There we go. Do I get pranked on here a lot? Uh, sometimes. I used to definitely back in like other servers when I had, was more active, but oh gosh, as of recent, what I've been kind of been given or pranked with is gifts. <laughs> but now this seems to be just the, the complete other side of the spectrum and this is just so random and absurd. I don't even know what's real and what's not anymore. Ouchie, we're stuck in a block somewhere there. It's just like, this is a new level of ridiculous, honestly. There it is. I was trying to figure out where that ghost block was. <laughs> I can only assume it was Toffee Max. I can only assume. I mean, I'm more than happy to take the, the resources. <laughs> While it is somewhat intrusive of... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Potato. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're gonna get covered in chickens. Oh, well, that's all good. We can kill and eat them. There's nothing wrong with that. Let's, uh, yeah, let's just continue cleaning this out. We're almost done anyway. But this is definitely one of the more kind of obscure things to have happen to my bases. Okay, should we pull out the TNT? <laughs> I think we're going to be here a little while. We might as well have some fun too with it. It's been a while since I really used TNT for anything as well. Boom, boom, there we go. Oh, this is so much quicker. Do we just want to like smother the whole thing in TNT or is that going to be risky? <laughs> I feel like that might have its advantages and disadvantages. 
So maybe if we kind of just, uh, uh-oh, uh-oh, that was a mistake. That was a bit of a mistake. Yeah, it's all good. We could just burn down the wood, but oops, I keep shift clicking the TNT accidentally and that kind of causes some problems. The only problem I have with TNT is that it doesn't always get everything and I kind of want to make sure I get everything. I don't want to leave any blocks lying around, but surely there'll be some ghost blocks, but that's all right. Ouch! Uh-oh, creeper's right behind us, I'm sure of it. There he is. Okay, that's just... Goodbye, creeper. So long. Oh, goodbye chicken. There is a lot of chickens around here now. Oh, we're still get oh my gosh. Is potato up on the hill? That's a lot of, that's a lot of eggs. All right, I'm gonna put another bit of TNT down here. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, there are chickens just everywhere. Once they all grow up, I'm going to kill all of them. Oh gosh. <laughs> so long, chickies. Okay, I think I will get rid of this too. Uh oh, didn't think of that. Oh no, oh no. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. Forgot about the lava, forgot about the lava. Oh no, stop. <laughs> stop, 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 oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. And there's another gift from the gifting man that we got given last time. Now, levativity, I don't know how to do that, how to bind that to stuff. I'm going to have to look into that module in another episode, I think. What I might do is dig out this area here. If we kind of do what I... Oh my gosh. What, is, what happened? Crazy chicken. I think what I might do is kind of revive this area by doing what I initially wanted to do as a base kind of idea and have these channels kind of dug into the hillside a bit. Might be a good way kind of just to tidy things up. And I mean, it doesn't have to be anything permanent either. It can just be kind of for the meantime. But I really wanted to sort out our storage area and kind of get get storage fixed because at the moment we're just putting anything in any chest that we can. And it's not sustainable. It's just not going to last. But I want it to be all kind of open roofed. Uh, probably some security has got mobs getting in. But I just want to dig out a bit of a trench here first. And Oh no. That, I believe, means mysterious midnights. Can somebody confirm that that is, that is a spooky night approaching us? I believe that means we are about to get in a bit of trouble with mobs. But before we do, let's set off the fireworks here from 59 Mars Bars. Woohoo! Nice, awesome. Love the fireworks, thank you very much 59, those can stay there for a while. Oh no, there's creepers. Oh no. Oh no, there's two- oh, oh no. Uh oh, uh oh, okay, uh, there is so many mobs approaching us right now, this is not good. Oh no, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grab my horse and I think we're just gonna run away from everything here. Come on horse, yeah, let's go. There's different mysterious midnights? Okay, so... Oh, okay. Let's set off this again. Here we go. There is a lot of mobs. Rod and flesh spawn zombies. Rod and flesh spawn zombies? So, like, if we... Kill a zombie, does rod and flesh spawn more? Is that what that means? Oh my gosh. Okay, so if you kill a zombie, another one spawns. Oh, yikes. Also, be careful because the respawned are stronger. Be careful because they have speed. Oh my gosh. Okay, no, but it's all good. I can't see any more at the moment. I'm just worried about creepers sneaking up on us and destroying a lot of what we have. I might put that armor back on me. I wouldn't mind another horse. So we found all that horse armor. Or is that I'm confusing myself with existence, I think. <laughs> Go away, please. Oh, you are an ouchy boy. You are. Oh, you're doing a bit of a hit. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's our pocket. Okay. 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, thank you, Potato. Oh no. Is that Potato or is that someone else? It is Potato. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh. Potato, you have saved me. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Potato. And thank you again for all the many, many chickens. I just want to get an area so that we can kind of just move or at least organize all our storage because we've got so much just random stuff in all these different chests. It's just absurd how much stuff we have lying around. Something like andesite we can get more of quite easily. I might stick with that. That was my original idea was to use andesite and gravel for pathways. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're all following the mother chicken. Ah, look at that. There's so many. There are so many chickens. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. Okay, let's dig up this gravel too, just so we can kind of do it ourselves kind of thing. And now, let's see. So if we kind of went, where are we going to? Just here. And then boop, 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 boop. And then doop, 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 doop. That looks quite good, I like that. And then we could run some type of accent block down the side maybe. I did want to incorporate more like red wool into my builds. That was kind of my initial idea, was to use red wool and red kind of accents. But if we grab that red wool and I couldn't mind some like wood. I think I was actually going for a more heavy stone look if I remember right with my initial plan. So if we grab some cobblestone and uh, surely I've got some bricks somewhere. Nine. Nine smooth bricks. <laughs> that is not going to be enough. We've got stairs. That's not enough. That's not helpful at all. We might have to smelt some on cobblestone. Four. Three. Four. Cool. And we'll go with that. Put like a red block every... What do I do it on there? Every three. Let's just go to three. When I initially kind of set up the idea for how I want to do this base in my single player world, I kind of just wanted to go for kind of real heavy stone with the occasional kind of color in it. And I think that's what I might continue to try to do just to keep it going. But I wouldn't mind a bit of wood here and there just to kind of break it up a little bit. So do we have any wooden stairs? We've got those ones there kind of liquid tanks, but we kind of need those at the moment. Oh, that's right, we can just kind of... Yeah, you can just walk underneath our liquid tank there. How many buckets that's got? Nine buckets. And top that up, I think. So in theory, if we stand on top here, we can just go bloop. And that should... No, ten buckets, but it didn't empty the stew. Is ten the maximum? Okay, and maybe 10's the maximum. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure I had a problem with that before. Ah, there we go. Two. Perfect. Just what I need. Fantastic. Just like that. That'll be nice. Nice and simple. We always could put like a slab or something there as well. Just to break it up a bit. Let's see. I want to just clear out all of this stuff into another random chest. The UFO inspection, inspection kit, which I still haven't utilized. Now, uh, I probably need some buffer chests, just so we don't put everything in the same spot. Okay, that should be plenty of wood to make a whole lot of chests, so let's see. We'll get eight to start, and that'll kind of give us a bit of a buffer. Now, how do you make trap chests? I can't remember, it's been so long. We need sticks and iron, don't we? Sticks and wood. 16. Right, that's a few more than I intended to make. But you know what? Let's uh, let's just make a whole bunch more chests here. It's not letting you play. Uh, here, go to this side. Here's a bit more information about uh, Game Mode 4. Right, let's just make all uh, half of these trapped. Let's just throw all this stuff in here. Look at all these, why do we have so many of these things? Oh my goodness, look at all them custom heads. Mind you, those are stones, so I might just bring the stones away. That's a stone, that's a patron trophy. Let's just, uh, we'll put patron trophies up the top. That's a snow globe, that's a trophy. Patron trophy, Rock Sanchez. I think that was a patron trophy that may have been as well. 
Another patron trophy. Mandala, Rock Sanchez, Mandala, Mandala. Is that the one? That is the June one. Okay, and then we'll put those. I've got so many custom like heads and stuff, I don't even know what to do with them. And the rocks can go along here. There you go. Thank you, the gifting man, once again. Okay, so I'll throw all these in the chest and that will probably wrap things up for for this episode anyway. Or at least for this stream. I might do a little bit more later on uh, as part of an episode. Just because this stream's got a little bit uh, dragged out a bit with a few things. Kind of delayed it. Uh, da, da, da. And there we go. Alrighty, well, thank you everyone so much for coming to the stream. And thank you everyone who's... Uh, not sure if this will be the end of the episode or not, but we will definitely find out. But yes, thank you guys all so much for everyone who attended the stream. Uh, hopefully I'll definitely be doing these hopefully every week around this time, if not a little bit earlier. And we'll see how it goes. But yes, so thank you guys all so much for coming to the stream. Had an awesome time. And I'll catch you all uh, later on.